At age 13, I left my family and began living alone. In opera and in Shakespeare, in locations that were both natural and supernatural, I escaped the limitations of my life. I tried to write down what I was seeing and hearing. With my books and with my radio, later with my pen, I would go out to play with my friends, Whitman, Puccini, Wagner, Melville, the incomparable Emily Dickinson, also Tennessee Williams, T.S. Eliot, and Tarzan of the Apes. I have to see and feel and hear and smell and touch the real place where my play is going to happen. 13 years old, in the convent, perfectly still on my hard gray bed, waiting for Jesus and death. How I loved that life, that lack of life. I travel to specific, larger-than-life, natural and supernatural places. I meet the most amazing, disagreeable, and enchanting people. Time for a little quiet now. Time for some sandwiches and beer. And you were as much as and more than a son to me, Louis. Sweeter and softer and stronger than any son I might I might have hoped to father. I am the father and the mother of all these characters. I like being alone with them because they were born from my being alone. I keep them just for myself until they are fully cooked. Then I creep to the mouth of my cave and throw them out into the world. At the end of the day, it's about what we choose. Which is painless, our life with its pain. So much we can lose, so much more to gain. We work, we conceive, untangle and weave, plant and give birth. With all who will listen on earth. I would change books, change radio stations, change my mind, change countries. I would find my family. I have lived the luckiest life. <laughs> 